So the room wide gastric bypass essentially is an operation in which the top portion of the stomach is divided and made into a small pouch. Um, it would be very easy to lose weight when you have a small pouch if it didn't go anywhere, um, but we have to connect it to something so that you have continuity within the gastrointestinal tract. So we basically connect it to the small intestine. Um, in order to prevent bile and acid from refluxing into the esophagus, the piece of intestine that's connected is then moved about three feet downstream for it from where that first connection is made to make a Y. And that diverts the flow of acid, bile, and um, prevents that from coming back up the esophagus. It's very effective when it comes to diabetes and reflux disease. It's a little bit more of a complex operation, but the outcomes as far as weight loss are, are the best. The second operation is the sleeve gastrectomy. This operation involves only operating on the stomach itself. We divide the blood vessels on the outer curve of the stomach and then essentially remove three quarters of the stomach with a surgical stapler and turn the stomach into a long narrow tube. This operation does really well as far as uh, weight loss. It's a little bit less complex of an operation, um, but it's not as great of an operation for people that have severe reflux disease. There's also a category of operations that we do, which are revisional operations. So people who've had a previous bariatric surgery that has failed, or perhaps they have a band put in and they failed to lose the weight that they wanted. And that's a totally different um, game. We're usually converting those either to a gastric bypass or a sleep gastrectomy, but it doesn't restrict them having had a previous bariatric surgery. Sure, I mean, the room why has been around for a long time. It's uh, even back into the 1970s, there were uh, cases of this being done. The sleeve gastrectomy has only been around for 12 to 14 years as a, as a standalone operation. Um, the technology that's really changed is that laparoscopy has reduced the mortality because the patients are able to get up and move around faster. They're less likely to get blood clots and less likely to have a heart attack and pneumonia and all the other complications that used to come about because of it. I think the second thing is that when you look around the state of Wisconsin or even the country, there are specific centers that do bariatric surgery. There's an expectation that patients have that the surgeon has been trained in how to do it. 30 years ago, you could go to your local general surgeon who may do one or two of these a year. Now there's an entire program put in place, um, not just from the surgery standpoint, but from nutritional and psychological support um, for the patients.